You are listening to The Michael Lodge Show. Wealth, business, and taxes. Oh, yeah, and some politics. Let's get started. And welcome to The Michael Lodge Show. I am Michael Lodge. Listen, I'm so happy that you join me on this podcast today. Because I I really want to talk about some thing. well, just one thing. I'm just going to talk about one thing, no politics, no nothing else, okay? But this podcast is designed for your personal finances because I really want you to focus on 2021 in the next couple of weeks or or three weeks, how much time that we have. But it's time that you sit down and start doing some planning for 2021, and that means that you have to look at your budget so i really want you to to know that if you don't have a budget if you haven't written it down you haven't put it down you haven't thought about it you're going to be living the same old story that you lived in 2020 okay so i want you to focus for 2021 for your personal finances and your budget and that is sitting down and thinking about what the amount of money that's coming in for 2021 and your expenses and then what is your net what is your net after you take all of your income and minus your expenses and debt and everything that you have to pay for what is your net so listen i have designed something for you and i want you to use it it's on my all of these people is trying to send in messages right when i get on the on the podcast, but I want you to go to my website, which is at www.lodge.co.com, and I want you to go and click on the the tab up at, up at the top. It's about the middle tab of the work work page, and it says sixty minute business advice. Okay, click on that, and then you'll see another tab that says personal budget okay click on that tab it's an excel worksheet you can bring it up and you can if you know excel this is perfect for you bring up the excel put in your projected income each month for 2021 based on what you're doing now and maybe any raises or added income and then all of your expenses that means your rent or your house payments your uh uh your utilities your insurance that you're paying for the car and on the house and all of your auto expenses and the payments on that any debt that you may have just go through the whole thing entertainment how much you're going to spend on eating out for 2021 it's it's so important to identify all these different things because sometimes we don't think about we're just spending right and a lot of you are putting a lot of debt on your credit cards that has got to be addressed and how you're going to pay it down. Because debt is the worst thing in an economy that we don't know where we're going at the moment because of lockdowns and COVID and all this other stupidity that's going around. We don't know what's going to happen. So we and I have got to be better at managing our money. If you don't sit down, if you don't write it down, if you don't put it in in documentation form that you're going to follow and you're going to monitor, you're going to be living paycheck by paycheck and credit card by credit card once again for 2021. I can't even believe that we're in the year 2021. Remember when, maybe some of you don't, but... When 2000 came along and we were all upset and we were all hyper because we thought the world was going to end, all of our data was going to be destroyed and everything else. (laughs) And we were panicking, literally panicking. And nothing happened. (laughs) Nothing, zero zilcho happened. But for our personal finances, something had better start happening because you and I are in the spotlight of our life of trying to survive and a lot of you are small businesses out there who are operating out of your houses now 
And you are literally having to survive because you don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going to be leading on, but we do know that we can control our finances ourselves. That is one thing we have over over control of. And we need to, if we do not plan, then we're not very smart people because smart people plan. The very wealthiest plan, the billionaires plan. Every single year they sit down with their accountants and they go over the next year. They go over the current year and what happened and where they stand and what's going on. And then they begin to plan for tw- for the next year. And they begin to make changes and in, in tweety, uh, 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 changing uh, different things in their financial lives. And that's our responsibility too. We're not billionaires yet. <laughs> but we're not billionaires. We're not millionaires yet. But we can, we can control our finances and live very comfortably if we think with our noodle, okay? Our our noggin up here on top of our shoulders, that big old thing that sometimes says stupid things, right? And does stupid, stupid things and buys stupid things with their eyes. And I mean, we're just really dumb sometimes upstairs and we got to start tweaking that in and start thinking just a little bit better. I I wish I could give you a forecast at the moment, okay, for 2021. But I can't because I don't know what any of the economic plans are for this country for 2021. I don't know. I'm in limbo, okay? I'm in I am in pause because I don't know. So when I'm in pause, what do I do personally? I become very conservative in what I spend my money on. How I'm using my money. I look at other ways to supplement my income to bring in more money. And I may, it may not even be in the field that I'm currently in, but I go out there and I say, okay, I'm going to need this amount to survive if anything should happen. So I would say to you, since I can't forecast the future, because I don't know what the economic plans are out there or the tax tax raises or ta- what's going to happen I just don't know so what I have to do as a smart person is act very very conservative with my income and I hope that you think about what I'm saying here because since we don't know we have to act conservative not politically conservative I'm not talking about that I'm talking about financial conservative it means that we really watch what we spend on. And we spend our money on the things that we need, not what we think we need, but what we actually need to survive, which means making the rent or the house payment, the car payment. Listen, what you really think about first is, one, you think about food, you think about your family, you think about the place where you live and the utilities because you don't want your heat and water turned off, right? So you have those almost five things that you look at that are your priorities. And then everything else, if you have money left over, you identify the things from the most needed to the less needed. Like maybe you don't need to go to movies all the time. I haven't been to a movie for a year now. And I miss it. I love it, but I don't go because of this COVID thing. So you and I, you know, we just have to get some smarts here. And I'm talking to myself too. I'm not just talking to you. But because I'm doing my 2021 planning at the moment also. And I know that in order to survive, I need this amount of money to to meet these amount of, of expenses. Anything else at this moment, I'm putting into savings. Because that's just the right thing to do. Since I can't forecast what the future is going to be, I know what my current income levels are at the moment. I know what my outlays are, the money that's going out of my pocket and out of my checking account, and I know what I need to do. So I encourage every single one of you, go to my website. Again, it's lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com. Click on the tab that says 60-Minute Business Advice. 
go down to the middle and you'll see another tab that says personal budget click on it use it put it into activity you can take your what you think you're going to come in that's going to be your monthly budget okay out and in or in and out and then when you get to january and you have your first amount of expenses log in the actual expenses and compare it to where you were budgeting yeah you're gonna have to change a few things some of you might still be in survival mode from the past lockdowns, which a lot of us small business guys are. So we don't know what's happening in the future, but we know how we can control our current income, our current expenses. And we prioritize what are the most important. So I encourage each and every single one. Listen, it's free of charge. You can change it however you want to, depending on what fits your needs. But use it because... Now is the time that we have to be smart in planning. Plan, plan, plan. If you have no plan, you have no future. That's just it. You have no plan, you have no future. Now, normally what I do is I keep a journal, okay? In fact, I've been writing in it for 2021. I had to buy a new one. And at the very beginning, I put down what my what I expect my income is going to be, what my expenses are going to go out, and that goes into my worksheet. And then I also look at, okay, how am I going to generate more business for my small business? How am I going to create more mediation events for my business? Advisory work for my business? Is there any other sources of income, venues that I can use to bring in more revenue into my into my small business? I'm a one-man operation, okay? Well, I've got three dogs, but they don't help me at all. <laughs> in fact, they're worthless. No, they're not. They bring a lot of love. So I'm a one-man operation, and I have to think of how will I survive in 2021, and I put it in writing, and I monitor it on a daily basis. I write in my journal every single day of how I'm going to tweak things or what I'm going to do of con- or conversations that I have had with people. Listen, planning is everything. Now you're not going to live you're not going to live line by line of that plan because you're going to be tweaking it throughout the year because things are going to change but you have a you have a beginning. In 2021 we need a beginning. And that means that you've got to do personal budgeting and planning of your finances. If you have any questions about it you can always send me a text at 818-252-5682. Again, that's 818-252-5682. Ask me any questions about budgeting or what you need to look at. If you have any any concerns, just let me know, and I'll do it do it for you. If you want to send me a, an, an, an a, uh, email, you can send it to info, I-N-F-O, at lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com, and I'll, I'll answer you there too. But let's begin planning. Let's be, let's become smart for 2021. We didn't know that this COVID thing was going to hit us and and, and hit us right in the in the chin. We didn't know what was going to happen, and we don't know what's going to happen in 2021 because, honest to God, I have no idea what Biden's thing is on the economy. I have heard no plans come out except the only thing is that he's going to raise our taxes. So if that's the case, that's the only thing I know at the moment about his about his economic plan for the United States. I'm sorry, but I got to protect myself. And you have to protect yourself. That means we budget conservatively, we spend our money conservatively, and we operate our lives conservatively. That's the only way we can make it through. So that's it. Go to my uh, website. Lodge, L-O-D-G-E dash C-O dot com. Learn what I do, do my day job. If you have any comments or questions, send it to 818-252-5682. I'll be more than happy to help you. If you want a, a schedule, if you're a small business and you need to start asking questions about uh, 2020 taxes or, or looking forward to 2021 taxes or business operations or finances or whatever, just let me know. Click on my website at the 60-minute business advisory tab that's up at the top and schedule 60 minutes with me. 
I'd be more than happy to work with you and think things through with you. This is Mike Lodge. I'll talk with you soon. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. This podcast has been produced by Michael Lodge, fully focused on content. God bless. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.